solutions, we're going to look at the pay, notebook page 186. So parts of a solution. Any solution has two known parts. One part is the solvent. This is the substance that is present in the largest quantity. So whatever makes up the most mass or volume is the solution. The solvent is described as the material that does the dissolving. And in any given solution, there can only be one solvent per solution. The most common solvent in chemistry class or in everyday lives is water. And we know that we are working with a water-based solution. If we notice at the end of a chemical formula, we see the AQ symbol for aqueous. So if this is my solution, the biggest component, that is the solvent, like water. Well, solutions are mixtures. So what is being dissolved? The solute is a substance present in the smaller quantity. So there are these little green particles. They would represent the solute. The solute, it is what is being dissolved, meaning it is being pulled through out the sample. So it's spreading out or being pulled through out the sample. Now, in any given solution, there can be many solutes. So for example, like coffee, one of my favorite solutions. Many people drink coffee like me for the one solute, caffeine. But in the average cup of coffee, there is something like 130 different molecules dissolved in that water that produce the color, the flavor, plus the caffeine, the level of acidi acidity in a cup of coffee. So there can be many solutes, but only one solvent.